you watch the Hallmark movies on TV. They're always in a quaint little town where everybody's really friendly. That's a burner. We'd like everybody to be able to feel like they can come and find something here that they can enjoy. So cute. Hi, welcome to Gallivernie. Hi, I'm Valerie. Amy, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. This place is beautiful. Thank you so much. I've never been here before, but I heard your Arnold Palmer is really good. I'm happy to make you one. Oh, thank you so much. Sure. Hi. Thank you so much. Sure, this there you looks go. so good. I've heard so many great things about this place. What was the inspiration on creating Gather Bernie? Well, thank you. Um, we have always loved hosting family and friends and cooking good food. And when we saw this place, we just knew it would be an amazing place to bring the community together as well. The property just spoke to us. The trees, the the home, everything. It just felt very welcoming and it just kind of brought our Two loves together. Hi. Oh, perfect. Thank, Thank you, you, Jessica. Wow. wow, this looks amazing. This is definitely like Instagrammable. <laughs> I have to take a picture of it. This is beautiful. This is our gather salad. Ooh, and then this one is, you said it was called the? At the pork meatball. Is that Meatballs what I... are delicious. <laughs> wow. We do that at home all the time. It's just what we do. My husband and I just host and cook and, and feed family and friends. And this is so just second nature to you. It is. It is. It feels like my second home. Oh, well, thank you for inviting me to your home away from home. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming. So the William is a boutique hotel located um, within the Hill Country Mile on Main Street in Bernie, Texas. My favorite part about it is the walkability of the town. So being centrally located, you're within short walking distance to you know the town square, Black Rifle Coffee Company, all sorts of things up and down in Main Street. So you can park your car and never have to get back into it. So I am super excited to take a look at these rooms and see what people absolutely love about the William. Okay, great. So as you can <laughs> this see, is so nice. yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thank you. This is spacious. This is a standard room. Yes, this is standard. Oh my goodness! I can't wait to see the rest of the place. Okay, this okay. is room two hundred, which is our corner suite. So gorgeous! Double door entrance. Yes, absolutely. Oh and a little bit of a different layout. This room yeah. obviously has much more windows because you're right on the corner, so you're overlooking Main Street. Yes. Depending on the season of the year, you know, we can rope this off to where this is your corner. Oh, so we make sure that you get the best view with the best room and all that oh, sort of stuff. That's so, perfect. Yep. Thank you so much for showing me this. Like, I've got a book, I guess, for 2024 now? <laughs> uh, more than likely, yeah, yeah. That's probably when we'll have an opening. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ian. No, I appreciate it. Coming up next, we've got more from Bernie. Everybody always wants to pretend like they're a bartender. This is just kind of a place for us to kind of bridge that and then also um, get to taste what we make. Welcome to Assemble Cocktail Workshop. Come on in. Let's do it. I have been bartending for quite a while and I just kind of noticed that there was some space for improvement. And so I wanted to kind of elevate that scene. Okay, so what are we gonna be making today? All right, today we're gonna to be making a basil elderflower smash. Yes. Okay, let's do it. All right, so first things first, uh, we are gonna to need to juice some limes. Holy smokes, y'all see the effort, the muscle in this? I worked out. This is fresh, y'all, fresh. So what we'll do is we'll take a couple basil leaves. We're gonna do a technique called muddling. Okay. It smells so good. And then we'll do a half ounce of the elderflower liqueur. All right, now we're gonna add in our spirit. 
This is vodka here. A nice gin with um, like a cucumber essence would be really lovely. Um, you can pretty much use any clear spirit of choice um, in this recipe. All right, and then we're gonna pop our mixing glass right start to shake. Sorry! That's perfect! <laughs> so aggressive! If you give your mint a nice little smack, it'll release some aromas. Ooh, it does smell great. All right, and that's it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. I get to watch people enjoy having a beer, talking, laughing, being a part of the community. Hello, hey, Jeremy. Ariel, What's how you up? doing? Yeah, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for coming um, by. I've never been in a podcast booth. So. And one in a brewery on top of I it. I know, right? right? Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Where, where should I go? I think you're going to sit right there. All right. So tell me, tell me about you first, and then we'll get into the brewery. I, I consider myself a washed up lefty. I, uh, I retired from Major League Baseball uh, and uh, was fortunate enough to be a part of four World Series and won three of them. Uh, with the Giants. Nice. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to also own uh, and start Free Room Brewing Company. Yeah, okay, so tell me about your story. How did you end up here in Bernie and creating this brewery? Yeah, yeah, so I moved down here in uh, 2017. I was fortunate enough when I was in San Francisco to to do some fundraising. I have a nonprofit called Generation Alive, and we do stuff with uh, the youth and poverty and deal with human trafficking, do with hunger. It's one of the fundraisers I did while I, while I was playing especially was work with a brewery on raising raising money. And, and so I fell in love with the process. Let's talk a little bit about the beer. So Jaron has won the silver at the Great American Beer Festival and his lager. So he's a he's an award-winning brewer. I said, I don't have a rhyme and a reason to anything. I just need good beer. It, he has nailed it every time. And people love it, I love it. Yeah, uh, well, should we go and visit your friends back there and yeah, see what I they're brewing? Should, I think you should go back there and uh, check out the beer. What's up? Hey, how's it going? You brought the goods? I brought you some uh, some of our classics. Okay. The first one we got here is uh, strawberry blonde. And we've got we've got our American wheat with mango. Okay. We call it mango vice. My favorite's gonna be our hazy idea. Y'all oh, have done a fabulous job transforming this space. Yeah. Like you have great beer. I love it. And I think everybody here is gonna love it. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. 